Alright, right, this is before the 12 hour flight. Oh. Right. 14 hours or whatever it is. 14 hours. <laughs> That's now been delayed, so it's gonna be even longer. <laughs> delayed. Yeah. Till 2. We're gonna be time traveling. And the baby. The baby. It's like. Nine months? I'm pretty sure it's nine. Nine months old. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we have not found very many dings or dents on the rental. Nope. Now it's time to mark it down and get on the road. Where are we going? We're going on the Butte Trail. The Butte Trail? Big day Butte. <laughs> Think about the Butte Trail. It's fun, super easy, everyone can do it. No, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> definitely a challenge getting up there. Uh, but just due to being a little icy. A lot it? of ice and slush. Yeah. So there was a lot of losing your footing on a steep, steep incline going uphill and on steps, which was very slippery. But it was definitely worth it. The but there's, challenge. but they have the, uh, the rail, so you can hold on to that as you go up. There were so. some loose, loose rails too, which you had to be careful about as well. But look at this, it's beautiful. It's awesome. Almost to the top. How you feeling? I'm gonna need a tissue. <laughs> I gave you some. <laughs> this is the easy part. Getting up here, not easy. Not easy, but definitely worth it. Oh, I love this beautiful fresh air. Whew. It takes deep breaths after that hike. Feels good. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> different than our hikes. <laughs> We don't have these, this big of mountains and hills and stuff. No, it's like the Billy Goat Trail, but much higher elevation. That was the uh, the Butte Trail. That was the west side, if I'm not mistaken. You know, the West Butte Trail. That person was there earlier. That's interesting. Um, that was actually really cool. Um, if we didn't have crampons, that would have been impossible, in my opinion. Would you agree? Very, very, very Just, hard. If you had not had crampons, you would have been definitely injured. Yeah. Um, but I love the fact that. You, know, you go up there, they had like the guardrail little thing that you can uh, hold on to. It was like nylon rope. It was uh, co covered in uh, polymer. And then some of it was just um, wood steps and guardrail for uh, the steep parts. And, you know, I mean, it was icy, but here we are March 10th. So March 11th. 
and uh, it's warming up this week. So we anticipated it being colder, but it's warming up and now it's kind of like, you know, it's gonna be 30 to 40 degrees during the day every day and, and snow for the trip. So uh, that's what we gotta expect. But I really like that trail. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short. I think if uh, you were looking to do that trail, just bring some crampons if you're in the winter time or if there's possible ice and uh, you know, go up there and bang it out. And bring tissues. And bring tissues. If you don't have a built-in <laughs> you know, tissue, like I do, like Mrs. Burr's does not have a built-in tissue. That was fun, slip and sliding, climbing pretty high to a new elevation for me. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, we didn't get any um, of the slipping and sliding because I didn't want to have hold the camera while I was dying. Yeah, no, we didn't want to lose the camera and we didn't want to lose ourselves down the side of the mountain. We helped each other through it. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. It's teamwork, team effort to get to the top of that mountain. It's definitely was fun. Will not be worried about my legs burning tomorrow. Not worried about that. Definitely felt a little ab workout from the sliding. Lots of sliding around, so definitely got a little ab workout in that one. That was good. Needed that. Back to tomorrow. We're going to Talkeetna, which was one of the mountains in the far, far view that you saw up on top of that mountain with the awesome view in the background. Talkeetna is back there, and uh, we are going to be doing another take on that trip to Talkeetna, that mountain, and hopefully we can uh, get some great views and the clear skies to show you a 360 panoramic view of that. Looking forward to it. It was a little overcast today. A little bit of a fog. Couldn't really see the top peaks. You can only see the bottom of them. So looking forward to getting a clear, great view. And uh, another great hike. What about you? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're in Wasilla, Alaska, Palmer Hay Flats. Where are we going? Well, we are there already, but walking through the trail. There that we're going to take a look at, so pretty excited to uh, check that out. Also, got to look out for some moose. This is a high moose crossing area, and it's snowing. Yeah, these roads are pretty uh, janked up. From uh, I mean, I'm just assuming you know, avalanches and erosion on the weather. We could definitely tell a difference with the weather coming down from Wasilla, our, I don't know, five to 10 miles before the Byron Glacier. If you're gonna come across and you're driving down here, you know, like avalanche zones, um, but there's gonna be lots of pull-offs um, that aren't in the avalanche zones that you can pull off and take awesome pictures. So keep in mind of that when you're driving down one, uh, route one here, that uh, tons of pull-off areas. So the 
the uh, Byron Glacier Road was closed, so we came down here, parked at uh, the parking area for the uh, Overlook, and then uh, we're just going to walk it and see how far we can get. What do you, uh, what do you think? Look at that mountain behind us. Alright, here we are, on the trail. Definitely down by that uh, lake area. Super cold. Camera lens is probably foggy. So here we are, we just got done, uh, we just did a mile. Um, it wasn't really the, uh, the Byron Glacier like we wanted to do, um, as you can see here. It's pretty... White out. Yeah, it's white a little, little white out at points. Um, we actually got to clear the car off on the side. We did a mile and we uh, got to, uh, you know, check out Alaska a little bit, at least. Um, our snowmobile tour for tomorrow got canceled. Uh, because of what well, was raining or whatever and they didn't want to take us out. They didn't want to take the people out on the uh, the glacier and stuff. So they're having avalanche risk right now. Yeah, so they kinda got they kinda got screwed on a few things, but uh like I said, you know, the road's closed, we still went back there a mile and checked it out and came back and at least did something. So improvise, adapt and overcome. Every day's a challenge. <laughs> Get up and go. Basically, we're at the top of this valley and um, right in the mountains. We've got a series of trails, kind of maintain trails. We'll cruise around, we'll take a couple breaks. Um, we'll take one picture break and another break, have a little fire, have some reindeer hot dogs. 
uh, some hot Russian tea and then we'll ride around a little bit more and call it a day. So here we are, this little oh cabin thing, oh outpost. What is this hot Russian tea? What's in it? Hot Russian tea, a little bit of tangerine. Um, I don't yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you said some nutmeg. So I was like, oh, nutmeg. Yeah. It's different. I never taste anything like it. A little bit of ginger. Hot Russian tea. I need an AK-47 here to uh, finish whole scene you can see hopefully there we go yesterday was horrible today you can kind of see the the mountains is everybody busy yet so we think we think about the <laughs> pretty awesome it's a beautiful breathtaking and a lot of fun a lot of things to do. I would agree. Except we've got our sunglasses. Oh, I'm okay. Well, we got everything else. We got everything else. We got our goggles. In the hotel room now. Got a nice view outside of the valley. It's a little overcast with snow and stuff, but we we're here cheersing. We finally got to Hotel Alieska. Cheers. Did the uh, snowmobiling, which was awesome. So now we got uh, two days of not driving, which means party! While we're waiting for Mrs. Bus to make herself more beautiful. Glorified. Beautiful. Alright, so first dinner here in Alyeska Resort. What do you think? I'm super excited. Everything looks gorgeous and very stoked to find out how great the food is. Lots of hype, so. Looking forward to it. Hey, right, we're gonna have sushi at night, which we haven't had sushi in nine months. Nine months. Yeah, we had an incident, but we're not gonna talk about it. So what else about the resort? Of course, the amazing view out of this hotel is phenomenal. Can't begin to explain how awesome it is because it's a little dark, a little bit of a haze going on from all the snow, beautiful snow coming down. Mm -hmm. But. On the valley, it looks great and beautiful, relaxing, which we need to relax, so I'm yeah. excited. Me too. So now we're going to go eat. I'm freaking starving. After all that snowmobiling, we worked out a good appetite. We worked up a good appetite. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're getting ready to go down and do some snowshoeing. 
change of plans and stuff a little bit from what we were thinking about doing. So we're gonna do snowshoeing for a little bit then come back and we're going up to set, is it Seven Glaciers? Yep. Seven Glaciers restaurant, it's supposed to be primo. So that's what we're doing today. So here we are, up there is where the Seven Glaciers restaurant is. So we got the two trams going, one down, one going up to the very top, overlooking the Seven Glaciers. And down here we have the lower lying trees, which comes down to the Moose Meadows here at Alaska. And you can see the road going into Alaska Resort over there on the left, where the tram ends. Pretty cool. So we're gonna be going up there tonight. And getting dinner. Getting dinner? Eating dinner. We're gonna get dinner and eat. Yeah, a little bit of uh, everything. Over there. And enjoy the snow. Yes. And that view, can't wait. Doing a little snowshoeing. Last day here. Let's go check out this uh, Moose Meadows. Pretty easy, but definitely gorgeous views. So we're out here and we saw this tree and thought, you know, a good way of surviving the winter and in the and you know the cold and the hot and deserts and stuff and and stuff, uh, colder environments, is go underneath like something like this, where you have this cover from the wind and the elements a little bit. And uh, just make a little shelter. Don't put too much time into it. You don't want to burn too many calories if you're really surviving. But, uh, you know, just something like that. And you look out here, you don't really see many areas. Uh, at least, you know, in this exact area. But this one definitely stuck out as it already has a canopy gone. So those are the things you want to look for, in our opinion. So one thing people do is they, uh, they wear a lot of layers. And uh, right now, all I have on is just a 250 weight. Uh, Quarter zip, you can see my hairy chest actually. So I just have a 250 quarter zip and this really thin fleece. You can see it's super stretchy. It's from Arcteryx. And I have this Arcteryx shell on, and that's all I got on. And I'm warm, and uh, Mrs. Burrs has something very similar on as well. So we've been out here for a few hours of snowshoeing around. What do you think? I'm having a blast. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. It is. Have you ever snowshoed before? Never. Me either. You just drop them on and go, I like it. Yeah. Sounds like two animals are having sex over there. Yeah, there's two animals finding each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way to put it. So now we're gonna go get some sushi. Uh, we said we were gonna get sushi yesterday, but uh, closed when we got there so we had to sell for uh, big ass prawn and fettuccine alfredo and um, a Kobe beef burger so I was very happy with it lots of spirits yep <laughs> it's been great Mrs. Burrs wants one last view. Walking in heels on the ice for the view. Uh, 
Alyeska Resort was great. I thought everybody was very accommodating and uh, all the help. Um, the one thing I'd say is their markings for things. We went out on the trails and uh, marked very well. Um, the map is not oriented properly. Um, we went out and oriented the map as to where we were and things were kind of flip-flopped. Um, so the map's a little off, but um, yeah, we did snowshoeing there. We went into the hot tub, which was fun. And uh, of course, the Seven Glaciers restaurant, which is uh, award-winning, was the best meal I've ever had. We had snow, uh, snow crab legs, we had um, filet mignon, some potatoes and, and stuff on the side. I had a scallop bisque, never had that before, and that was really good. And a cheese platter, and what was the bottle of wine? Do you remember what it was? No, I don't. I don't either. We got a bottle of wine, and uh, it was just a really awesome time at Alyeska. What do you think about the view? Well, I am driving, <clears throat> and uh, but as I glance over every once in a while, uh, I've never seen anything like it. Like we were talking about last night, uh, Mrs. Burrs and I, that we walked out of a Lowe's here. We went to Lowe's to get something. We walked out, and there's just a view like this, which is incredible. I mean, you, you, the views and the scenery, it's just, I mean, it's unmatched, in my opinion. Uh, at least as far as everything I've seen in my life. And I've been to a lot of different states so far, and uh, it's just a really awesome place to visit. How do you feel about the roads, agriculture, um, the structural infrastructure of everything here so far? Uh, I think they take really good care of the roads. I mean, they have to. You know, you don't want, they don't want people getting hurt. It's a lot to take care of because of the changing weather that we've seen. But uh, you always see the equipment out and you know they're doing their best to make sure everything's safe. But like this road right here is the only road to get to where we were. Um, so, and it's only two lanes. So if something happens, you're gonna have a delay. And that seems to happen a lot. And people are used to it around here. That uh, delays happen and roads get closed. And once this road's closed, there's no way to get to you know where we were. So um, the times we've been on it, we haven't had any issues, and it's been snowy at times, and we haven't had any problems. But um, they do a pretty good job, I think. Or when we land in Santa Cruz, take the agent to get past the